Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by the Topoco Lodge. Hey, on Saturday, the lodge will be opening up for guests. The tavern is still carry out only for now, but make a reservation for an overnight stay at topoco.com today. There, you will see the long list of moves they are making to ensure the safety of their staff and the safety of their guests. Uh, just tremendous job they've done at Topoco Lodge. These are good people, and they have put so much money into uh, building this place up. Uh, it's a historic place. It's built in the 30s, and uh, they have done an unbelievable job of refurbishing it. And it, it's a spectacular place, as you can see from the ads. And now uh, you have a chance to support them. Uh, Support a good local business. Get up there, Topoco Lodge, topoco.com to learn more about what they're doing and how you can make an overnight stay here in the weeks and months ahead. Topoco Lodge. Okay, uh, just very quickly, Major League Baseball and the NBA have been trying to formulate plans uh, for moving forward. And they're constantly talking about, well, we need better testing. We don't want to be yes. testing players. If not all the if all the hospitals who need tests can't get them, we don't want to be doing this. Um, we want to see if our players will agree to go to an Olympic Village type thing where everything is played on one or two sites. And to date, doesn't seem like any of the NBA or Major League Baseball players want that. You've, you've seen people talk about it feels like incarceration. I don't think you're going to see it. But they are looking at all these different ways. And well, we don't know if we'll have fans, and we don't know. The NFL, on the other hand, are you going to do your draft? Hell yeah, we're doing our <laughs> draft. Yeah, we'll do. And kudos to them because I didn't think they could pull it off. I thought they should just do it over the phones. They pulled it off. People watched like crazy. They loved it. Big hit. Then this week they came out and said, "Yeah, here's our schedule." Now they they know very well that the schedule could change, games could get moved, games could get canceled. Some places could have fans, some places might not have fans. Another another layer to this that people people can complain about. But they're marching ahead as though it's business as usual. That is the front they are putting out there. Long term, better safe than sorry might be the smarter play. But do you guys agree with me that the NFL is winning the public relations battle right now by simply putting on a happy face? Oh yeah, they're they're first of all they're benefiting from time. Time is working in their favor while it works against the NBA and Major League Baseball. But uh, right now the NFL's message is just hey, uh, this stuff that you don't want to hear about in the first place, we're not going to talk about it. And if we do, we have to at some point, they will. They'll address it. They have scheduling plans that are going on behind the scenes. But the NFL's message is really what fans want to hear. So yeah, from a PR standpoint, uh, they're lapping the NBA and, and Major League Baseball Ag and others. Agreed. And I think you're right. The bad thing for NBA and Major League Baseball is they're supposed to be playing right now. Whereas right. Right. Exactly. if the NFL were playing now, it'd be a different beast. Be, yeah, a different ballgame. But just Chuck, the front that the NFL is putting on, I, you know, th this is a league under Roger Goodell that has continued to stomp its own foot. In this case, I think they're making all the right moves. Do you agree, disagree? Well, they're, they're saying, here's what we're going to do. It's, it's business as usual, and if we have to adjust it, we will. You know, <laughs> and like Josh says, they're looking, you know, the, the first, after the, what, the first week of September would be the first game. You obviously have to back Yeah, they're a week some. after college football. And, and, and uh, NBA you know, is looking at, what, uh, Vegas? Having a yeah. lot of people in Vegas or Orlando, that hadn't really gone yeah, on. The players don't seem yeah. to want to. Major League Baseball looking at three 10 team divisions, more geographic. That makes sense, but it's they're saying we still have until June kind of decide. But yeah, you're right. The NFL's just said, hey, who's, who's playing open? Who's, who's that first game? Yeah, it's also taking advantage of the fact that typically with the draft, which is always a, a big event, typically the NFL's message is, hey, tune out that game that you're going to watch and come watch our event. Instead, this year it's hey, you don't have any games to watch. Come enjoy something related to sports with us. Same with the schedule this past week. Typically, I'll roll my eyes and I'll check out the schedule and then I'll move on back to actual sports. That doesn't exist. So I'm putting some popcorn in a bucket to sit down and watch an NFL release this year, oh, uh, this week. Yeah, exactly. And I think that uh, you know any of these sports, whoever gets back first is going to get such a huge bounce. I mean, you see that UFC right. is... They're yeah. doing their thing. NASCAR uh, next weekend is probably going to expect right. a big bump because they'll be on. Nobody else will. And, and the, the NBA has said, hey, we need three weeks of, of preseason practice to get ready so we can, we can wait a little. But one thing interesting, or I found it interesting, uh, the, the commissioner said, we need to know there's 15,000 tests available with accurate same-day results. That's, I mean, you're getting into so many different things. And even the travel parties would be you know, cut in half or the, the personnel that would be there would be half. 
So there's so many factors that go into this. Well, and so much of it, though, right now is about perception. And I think all of us are wanting positive signs and good news. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why the NFL is hitting a home run. The, the word came out this week that if one team can't play, they won't play until everybody can play. So state of New York, you got two teams there. You got two teams out in L.A. It could be a while before you're able to play, but the NFL is just, they aren't publicizing that. They're not taking the, well, here's everything we're going through. They're not giving you the behind the scenes. They're just saying, yeah, yeah, we'll worry about that. Just focus on the games. I think that's the wise move at this point. I don't know that it's the wise strategy business-wise in terms of, you would assume they're making good plans behind the scenes, but right. certainly in terms of PR, it is absolutely the right move. All right, uh, when we come back, would it be a right move to follow Jim Harbaugh's perfect world plan for college football? We'll tell you what he asked for this week. Would you be okay with college players being able to turn pro at any point? Freshman season, you go to the NFL after that. Would you be cool with that? Is that fair? Come on back.